Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to apply the audio spectrum effect to masks. So custom shapes that you create using the shape tool or the pen tool, you can create some pretty cool audio visual effects. First, create a new composition. The size I created was 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second, 30 seconds in duration. I dragged on this simple animated texture to add a little interest to the background. Then I added the music or the audio track. I'll leave a link in the description to this lo-fi beat that I downloaded from Vato Elements. And finally, I went to my project bin and I just dragged on this orange texture layer. To create a mask, first select the layer that you want to add the mask to. Then go up to the top toolbar. You can use the shape tool to create a mask. You can also use the pen tool. I can just click and add points. And when I get to the last point, that's gonna close the mask. And now I've created a mask. So make sure the layer is selected in the layers panel before you create the mask. Then I'm gonna select the ellipse tool. So I'm just gonna click. If I hold the shift key, that'll make a perfect circle and this is just a mask. So with the texture selected in the layers panel, I'm gonna go back to the shape tool, I'll click, and I'm gonna select the star tool. I'm just gonna click and drag out a star. If you hold the space bar, you can move it around to get it in position the way you want it. So one star, I'll click over here, add another star. It's now time to add the audio spectrum effect. To do so, go to the effects and presets panel. Click in the search field and just start typing out audio. A-U-D-I-O, there you'll see the audio spectrum effect. I'll just click and drag it right on top of the texture layer. With the texture layer selected, I'm gonna to go to the effect controls panel, go to the audio layer property at the very top, click the drop down, and here you're going to select your audio or music layer. And if we look on the composition, you'll see those little dots. And if I tap the space bar, the effect is reacting to the beats of this music layer down here. And to map or apply the audio spectrum to one of the custom shapes or masks that we created, go to the path property, click the drop down, and select one of the masks. Before I do so, I'm just going to go to the thickness property. I'll increase it to 10 so it's easier for you to see what's going on here. Then I'm going to go back to the path property. I'll select mask one as I know it's that big circle. I'll click, and just like that, the audio spectrum is now gonna work around that custom shape. And if I select mask two, you'll see it jumps up to that star in the top left, mask three. And to see the original orange texture, and so I can also see the stars that I created on that same layer, I'm gonna go to the very bottom of the audio spectrum effect and just tick the box composite on original. Then it's just a matter of customizing the audio spectrum effect to get the look that you're going for. I'll change the maximum height, so I'll just click. I'm gonna enter a really large value of 5,000 to really exaggerate the effect. For the thickness, I'm gonna change it from 10 down to five. And for softness, I'll change it from 50% down to 0% so the lines are really crisp and sharp. Now for the colors, I could customize it. Maybe I could choose some of my brand colors, but I wanna have random colors here, and really bright. So I'll just go to the hue interpolation I'm just gonna enter a value of five. And you'll wanna play around with the display options and the side options. So this is digital, you have analog lines, analog dots. In the side options, side A and B, the effect is going to be on the inside and the outside of the mask. If you select side A, it will only go on the inside. And if you want it on the outside only, choose side B. And to randomly change the display and side options, I just dragged the CTI to the beginning of the timeline, clicked on the stopwatch next to each. That's going to add toggle hold keyframes. Then I drag the CTI forward in time by two seconds, change the display options, this time to analog lines. And I can just go down the timeline, just randomly changing these properties. And for a finishing touch, I went to the effects and presets, did a search for the hand-drawn effect, dragged it right on top of the texture layer. This is just gonna add a little wiggle to the circle in the stars. I'll unmute the audio layer by just selecting it, clicking on the audio column. And that is how to add the audio spectrum effect to masks in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.